Hello everyone! I'm sure you've missed my podcast and feel very hungry for semiconductor information, and I won't disappoint you. So let's see, what is new in power semiconductors industry? An increasing number of automotive manufacturers worldwide are responding to requirement for faster charging times for battery electric vehicles with the introduction of modified onboard power system architectures. In the electric premium and sports car segments especially, high voltage vehicle power supplies are now being designed for 800 volts rather than the current 400 volt systems. ZF reinforces this design trend with the development and production of corresponding components for the electric drive line. At the core is power electronics using silicon carbide as a semiconductor. ZF has already seen this technology applied in the Formula E racing series. For the first time in premium week of production, ZF is using new cheap technology. Instead of silicon transistors, silicon carbide components are used. As the global population experiences rapid growth, more people around the world are moving from the countryside to the city. In addition to the inner city challenges posed by the urbanization megatrend, there is also an increase in the average traveling distance. As a result, the challenges for train systems are also increasing. To meet these demands, Siemens Mobility and Infineon Technologies have jointly developed new auxiliary converters to improve the efficiency of onboard power systems using power semiconductors based on silicon carbide. Siemens Mobility uses the new converter for various train platforms. As a result, the platforms are maintenance-friendly, reliable, economical and, above all, power-efficient. With SIG, we achieve higher switching speed as well as efficiency to reduce the size of transformers, capacitors, cooling elements and the housing unit. The advantages of this semiconductor material are evident and are now being leveraged in rail-bound vehicles, said Dr. Peter Wawe, president of Infineon's Industrial Power Control Division. Selecting the optimal SIG device in the right power topology should be easy. This is why United SIG built FatJet Calculator. It helps power designers evaluate United SIG devices in a variety of circuit topologies and quickly focus on the most promising solutions. It is easy to use and provides the data needed to make design decisions quickly and confidently. It all happens in three easy steps. Select application function, select topology, enter operation specs and select device. Xperia, the expert in essential semiconductors, has announced a comprehensive partnership covering gallium nitride power semiconductor devices with United Automotive Electronic Systems. The program will focus on power systems for electric vehicles with the aim to jointly develop automotive applications using GAN technology. The electrification of cars, the increase in high power requirements of telecommunication equipment for 5G and the rise of Industry 4.0 require power conversion efficiencies for which GAN is expected to become the mainstream technology. These trends underpin the growth in demand for power semiconductors in 2021 and beyond. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. is to build a 2.35 billion US dollars plant with funding from the Shenzhen city government, the first major project to emerge from China's master plan to match the United States and become more self-reliant and meet a global chip shortage. SMIC said that shortages could worsen this year and next, harming Chinese businesses if the country doesn't immediately increase domestic capacity. In the joint venture with Shenzhen, the company has agreed to develop and operate a manufacturing facility that can produce chips using 28 nanometer technology. The partners aim to attract third-party investment, begin production by next year, and eventually produce 40,000 12-inch wafers per month. Ferrotech and RS Technologies invest in new factories to take on bigger rivals. Two upstart manufacturers of semiconductor wafers in Japan are expanding their presence in China, looking to right Beijing's efforts to achieve cheap self-sufficiency and tap into the money the government is pouring into the sector. Ferrotech Holdings, headquartered in Tokyo, mainly produces components for chip-making devices. The company started making wafers in 2002 in China, with the operation limited to early-generation products. Ferrotech isn't the only company with lofty ambitions. We seek to exceed Samco by 2025, said Nagayoshi Ho, president of RS Technologies. The Tokyo-based company is the largest manufacturer of reclaimed wafers used for the equipment testing. RS expanded to normal silicon wafer production in 2018 when it formed a joint venture with Green Group. In October, the two partners completed an 8-inch wafer factory in the Chinese city of Dezhou. They expect the plan to attain monthly capacity of 130,000 units this year. RS accepted money from a Chinese public sector fund to make 12-inch wafers. The company looks to make 10,000 units a month on a pilot basis later this year in Dezhou, with a global of producing 300,000 units a month. 
Join United Seek webinar to discover how the breakthrough performance of 750 volt Gen 4 Seek FATS enables its simple design of a highly efficient totem pole PFC. Efficiency measurements on the developed 3.6 kW unit will demonstrate a 99.3% efficiency rating. Insight into the losses is provided by the United Seek FAT Jet Calculator online tool, which are shown to match the actual measurements quite well. Finally, it will be discussed how the high efficiency of Seek FATs allows further BOM cost reduction for Totem Pole PFC. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next week. And meanwhile, Go to Marketing Psycho website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.